Hey, it's Sharon here. I have this beautiful eyeshadow look to share with you. If you want to know how I achieved it, please keep on watching. I'm first starting out by moisturizing my face with the Olay Regenerating Deep Hydration Cream. I then apply the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser on the T-zone of my face. Man, will you check out all those cute faces I make? After that, I used the Maybelline Master Prime 100 by Face Studio and applied that all over my face. Catherine was distracting me, so I, I'm talking a lot in this. And do a little dance. <laughs> Sorry, I was really excited to use the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in Nude. I also used the applicator that was specifically made for the foundation. Unfortunately, I wasn't too pleased with it. It seemed to not blend in the product well, so I used my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to replace this applicator. For my brows, I used the Maybelline Brow Drama Pomade Crayon in the color Dark Brown, I think. I wasn't too fond of this product. I have really thick eyebrows and because of the crayon's thickness, it was hard to apply on my brows. Um, I tried using a brush to see if that would make a difference and it helped a little, but to be honest, I probably won't be using this again. I just have too many eyebrow hairs and it was just hard to really blend that in there. Now for the eyes. I start by applying some Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base and smooth it out on my eyelid. I'm using Revlon's Photo Ready eyeshadow for this tutorial. I first used from the palette 501 the number 1 as a base. I then used number 2 to bring into the crease and outer corner of the eye. I then apply from the palette 525 number 2 in the inner corner of the eye and blend it towards the middle. To blend the crease, I use number 4 in the palette 501. I then use number 1 from the palette from 525 and apply it on the brow bone area. To emphasize the blue, I use the Hard Candy Take Me Out liner in the number 959. I apply it in the inner corner of the eye and blend it out with a brush and just keep repeating this step until I get the color that I want. My faces are just cracking me up.
Sorry, I didn't realize that you couldn't see what I was doing, but I used my eyeliner brush to apply the number two from the palette 501 under my waterline. To give some shimmer, I used the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and blend it out with my finger. For eyeliner, I use Maybelline Eye Studio Blackest Black. I then brush my eyelashes to take off the fallout from the eyeshadow. I then apply some mascara from Maybelline to emphasize my lashes. I will not be using falsies since I have eyelash extensions. For the lips, I use a combination of Maybelline's Nude Lust and CoverGirl's Dulce de Leche. To finish the look off, I contour my face and spray makeup mist and set by e.l.f. and this is the finished look. Thank you for watching. If you like this look, please subscribe.